Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Xining in Qinghai province, which is in the northwest of China. And it's the 4th of June. It's the last day of Ramadan for us Muslims. And it's raining. Hmm. So what we're going to do today is we will first go to the uh, Tibetan Medical Museum here in uh, Xining explore that maybe we'll go to a second museum later and in the evening we will go to the mosque to break our fast so i'm going to show you around xining the next few videos will also be about our trip here because we're staying for a few days so uh, you can look forward to several videos to come about this awesome city of xining and yeah let's go and explore <music> inscriptions in Chinese, in Tibetan, and in English as well. Not everything is in English, but there are quite a few explanations in English too. And today it seems there are not many people here. It's empty, which is nice, because recently I was in a museum in Xi'an and it was way too crowded. So I'm happy that finally I get to experience a museum without masses of people. <music> So while the first hall was all about the tools and the history of the medicine, the second hall has a lot of what's called tankas, and they are these pictures that you see behind me uh, in which um, they detail, let's say, the human body, the blood vessels, the muscles, uh, stages of um, pregnancy, uh, behavior, food poisoning, <laughs> all kinds of random things that are related to medicine. Most of the information that you will find about this uh, museum online will tell you that there is an entrance fee of 60 yuan per person. However, um, the museum is most famous for a tanka, one of these pictures, but it's um, 600 meters long. Um, this was used. Uh, this used to be housed in this museum. However, uh, it is now in a different building, and we're going to try to find that. So. Actually, the museum is free of charge. You just have to show your uh, ID or your passport when you want to enter the museum. Um, well, we're going to find out where that other part of the museum is, where they have this tanka. And I think maybe they will charge an entry fee for that part. So let's go and find out. So here is the front building that we just visited. and then. The other building that will have this tanka and probably some other things is right back there. So we just go to the building behind the first building. Okay. 
So you walk around the building and then you will find the ticket office here and the entrance is right there. Ticket price is 60 yuan and they have uh, guided tours that cost extra. saw first was the souvenir shop which is on the ground floor and I think it's one of the biggest uh, souvenir shops I've ever seen in a museum and prices there are outrageous I mean it's handmade art uh, and of course it's spiritual or religious art so it's always more expensive <laughs> they have some cheap things too but yeah it was interesting to see so now let's go explore the exhibition and actually this museum is the Museum of Tibetan Culture. So it's different from the medical museum, uh, but they're right next to each other, so you can just visit both when you're here. We've already seen more people downstairs, so this is the more popular one. And well, let's go and see what this museum has to offer. So we're, as I said, we're on the fourth floor, and this is the hall for the, this huge, very long tanka. And uh, the information tells me that it took 400 artists 27 years to complete this thing. It is 618 meters long and 2.5 meters high. Uh, it, has, it holds a Guinness World Record for the length. It's the longest one in the world. So I'm really curious to see this. It details uh, Buddhistic, uh, spiritual things, um, culture, art, and yeah, I'm very curious to see it. So let's have a look at this amazing piece of art. What you just saw in around 45 seconds took me seven and a half minutes to film. This thing is incredibly long and so detailed. Well, detailed. Just now you saw the fast forward version of it. Now let's look at some of the de details that you can find in this super long tanka.
next exhibition hall that we will visit is the exhibition hall of the Silk Road and the civilization of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. So let's go and explore that. The next two halls are about uh, the Tibetan architectural art and Tibetan calligraphy. So let's go have a look at what we can find there. hall will showcase Tibetan carpets as well as garments and accessories. So let's go.
that's it from the Tibetan Culture Museum. I really enjoyed this museum. It is so well made. It's colorful. It's there's so much interesting stuff to see, and uh, it's surprising because you don't know what happens around the next corner when you go around it. Um, definitely worth a visit. Um, I will finish this video here because it's still only it's not even two o'clock in the afternoon yet, and I've already have a lot of footage for the first video. So let's keep it here. Just make this video about the two museums that we visited. And then to, uh, next week, you will see what I'm doing on my day one in the afternoon, including going to the mosque for breaking the fast at this last day of Ramadan. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, write in the comments below, and I hope to see you next week. Bye.